recent poll has come out. And we've seen this many times, but the a recent poll has come out that um, Sunday morning news shows do the most to help people learn about current events, while some outlets, especially Fox News, lead people to be even less informed than those who don't watch any news at all. In other words, not only does Fox News not give you the whole story, they make you stupider. People who watch Fox News, the most popular 24-hour cable networks, are 18 points less likely to know that Egyptians overthrew their government than those who watch no news at all. And that's after controlling for other news sources, partisanship, education, and other demographic fa factors. In other words, watching Fox News makes you stupider. Fairly Dickinson, uh, political science reporter Dan Cassino stresses that it's not a function of being Republican. Because Republicans in general were, were uh, not uninformed about current events. But Fox viewers, the results show us there is something about watching Fox News that leads people to do worse on these questions than those who don't watch any news at all. And here is a prime example. Brought to you in the forum of Megyn Kelly and Bill O'Reilly. Say, baby, put down that pipe and get my pipe up. And here it is now. Um, first of all, pepper spray. That just burns your eyes, right? Right. I mean, it's like a derivative of actual pepper. It's a food product, essentially. You know what else is essentially a food product? Cyanide. It's in your peach pits. It's essentially a food product. It's like, it's like, you know, some people throw salt over their shoulder. You know what else is uh, pepper spray? It's also known by another name, mace. It just so happens that mace is a brand of pepper spray. But we ended up calling it mace. But when it's a pepper spray, it's just a little pepper. It's a little bit. This may be a little spicy, right in your eyes. Uh, and yes. It's considered a less than lethal agent, but it is deadly in some rare cases. But it's essentially a food product. But a lot of experts are looking at that and saying, is that the real deal? Has it been diluted because... Yeah, that should, know, they should have more of a reaction Yeah, than but that. I, that's really beside the point. I mean, it was something that was obviously abrasive and intrusive. And in other words, what uh, Bill O'Reilly is saying, like, uh, just having to, like, wash out your eyes and scream in pain, that's not... That's not a rea reaction. I, I want to see skin peeling off the, the bones. I want to see faces melting like candles. Yeah, if we don't see faces melting like candles, that's not... That's, that's a, it's a food, 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 food product. Seven, uh, and they, they wanted them... Several to, went to the hospital. Right, they just wanted them to get out of there, stop blocking what they were blocking. Yes. They wanted to scatter them. This was on the chancellor's orders. The chancellor ordered right. the police to go in and force... You understand that the chancellor ordered this. The chancellor. So when the chancellor says that people must be moving, people must be moving, you don't. When the chancellor says to live, you live. Otherwise, you get sprayed with the, the food product that makes your face melt. Please continue. Force these students to disperse. That's and Linda Catali or yes, Kate. And it is a it is a crime. They, they, they were charged. Ten of them were charged with unlawful assembly and failure to disperse because they right. were posing a you know a sit-in, a student protest. And you can do that. that. That's very American. They were posing a sit-in. You realize that the, the they were posing a sit-in, sort of like a threat, like posing a threat. But in this case, it was a sit-in. We don't sit here. They get pepper spray. But it may also happen to well, break they, the they, law. They wanted to get these uh, people off the campus, and they didn't want to lay hands on them. Right. See, there's two ways to do this. You can do the pepper spray, um, or the, you know, you can gra physically drag well, them out of there. Well, they then did. They then did lay hands on them. I know, but you don't the want arrest. to lay hands on them. No, somebody. but what I'm saying is the police would respond by saying, I love how O'Reilly is suddenly a crowd control expert. You don't want to lay hands on them. What you want to do is you want to spray the pepper spray. Then you want to take in the, uh, the, um, the gun that will actually surround them in a force field. 
and then lift them with the force field into the paddy wagon. You don't want to touch them. Well, they did touch them. Well, yeah, I know, I know, yeah, no, they did, uh, keep, keep, keep going. You pepper spray first to yeah. allow the hands-on part to be less confrontational because you're going to get a less, you're going to get less resistance when you got somebody who just got pepper sprayed. Yeah. Listen, I know the tape looks bad. I agree it looks bad. All I'm saying is that from a legal standpoint, I don't know that the cops did anything wrong. We're going to have to learn more about the facts. But the cops are allowed to use reasonable force to affect compliance with an arrest. Yep. It does look like these students were failing to disperse and were in some cases unlawfully assembling and perhaps even resisting arrest. Here, there are some, you didn't show it on the tape, but where the cop goes to grab one of the students and you can see she puts her arm back, she's not letting him grab her. You saw that the woman, when the cop grabbed her, she attempted in some way, in some way, to put her hand away. <laughs> At that point, the chancellor has said, you must leave now. You must leave now. Leave the sidewalk. You are blocking the sidewalk. You are posing a city. So it is time for you to leave. The chancellor has said it. The chancellor has said it. It, it, it looks like these cops have, have room to argue that this was not excessive force. Does that mean they should have affected the arrest in this way? That's a moral discussion. Yeah, I, I, but I don't think we have, we have the right to Monday morning quarterback the police, and particularly at a place like UC Davis, which is, you know, a fairly liberal campus, and they're not, you know, running around. You understand that in America, we don't have the right to look back on the police and question what they do, particularly if it's a liberal campus and they're running around. The chancellor said you must move. And they did not move. The chancellor said it. Please bring out the father cannons. Water. Just, it's the essence of life. Water. With a water cannon, it's even that much more essence of life. We all have iron in our blood. So then you club someone with a tire iron. What are you doing? Unbelievable. And I just can't understand why people become more stupid when they watch Fox News. 